Hey quilters, I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilts Creativity Expert. Welcome to today's lunch party called Express Yourself in honor of National Say Something Nice Day, which is tomorrow. That's right. We are celebrating the launch of an applique die that will let you easily say something nice in all your quilting projects. That's right, Pam. The Go Emojis die is back. Since it's limited edition release back in 2019, so many of you have asked for it that it's now been made a member of our permanent collection. And I'm really glad that it's back. This expressive die is, purposed, is perfect to use with kids or yep. grandkids. I know Oakley has loved using this die with me. We have emojis all over the house. All over the house. Yep. Well, let's not wait any longer. Let's see the Go Emojis die. When you're at a loss for words, let the characters in the Go Emojis die speak for you in your next quilting project. This playful applique die is an easy way to add more personality to any block. After prefusing the fabric and just one pass through the Go cutter, you can create perfect shapes every time. Embellish any quilted masterpiece with a variety of bright colors, exciting patterns, and durable fabrics. This lets you create a wide range of quilting projects, such as a themed bedroom, customized birthday gifts, and expressive fashion statements. This amazing die can be used with any size Go Cube system to make coin purses, clutches, eye masks, travel journals, and so much more. Along with these lovely shapes, your purchase also includes a fun pattern and downloadable embroidery designs for free saving you an additional $22. Let your creativity soar with this die because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Working with this die has been so much fun. It has been, Pam. The Go Emojis die comes with nine different applique shapes, and we're going to get into more details about that in just a little bit. Now, this family-friendly die is perfect to use for embellishing projects with common emojis yep. or coming up with your own. Our guys in the studio made some really fun ones. Yes, today. they did. And it's a great scrap buster for you, too. That's right. All right, quilters, let's get this launch party started. Now, as always, we planned a lot of fun for you today. We've got some great prizes, exciting project ideas, inspirational trunk show, so fun things. and a special bundle just for this die. All right, here comes our deal, quilters. We put together three special bundles so that you can get started on your next expressive project. To get your order in during the show, use your phone's camera to capture the QR code and it will take you directly to our site. Now, if you don't have a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. That way, you're not gonna miss a minute of the show. First up, we have the Go Emojis Eye Mask Bundle. You'll get the Go Emojis die, the Go Eye Mask die, a six by 12 cutting mat, and the Emojis Embroidery Designs. This bundle is valued at $167. Today, it's $99.99, saving you over $66. There's also the Go Emojis Crazy Bundle. So fun. Now, this is fun. It includes the Go Emojis die, plus three more circle dies that give you circles ranging from a half inch all the way up to five inches, plus a six by 12 cutting mat. This $265 value can be yours today for $199.99. It's gonna save you over $64. And the Go Emojis Cutter Bundle features the Go Emojis die plus the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set. This bundle is valued at $220. You can get it today for $169 and some change, saving you over $49 in savings. Plus, you're gonna get free shipping when you spend over $100 if you live in the contiguous US. No code is needed. Now, all of our Go Emojis bundles have been marked down as much as they possibly can right. be. But if you're looking for more savings, take advantage of the Memorial Day sale. You'll receive 30% off select Go dies, cubes, and bundles when you use the code MEMORIAL30. You can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find your closest retailer, just go to the top right side of our website for the store locator. Now we know our dies and fabric cutters are an investment, so AccuQuilt offers fast and easy financing. Go to AccuQuilt.com financing. Okay. 
All right, quilters. Thank you. Let's take a look now at that Go Emoji die, shall we? Now this is an applique die and it comes with those nine shapes I mentioned earlier, yep. right? And it starts with this big one, which is our five and a half inch circle. And this is the only five and a half circle that we have in our collection. That's right. And you know how I feel about cutting circles by hand. <laughs> it should not be done, that is silly. Yes. Right? And we also have sunnies, because it's we sunshine. We isn't that fun? Yeah, it is fun. And two smaller circles. Right. Here is the cute little heart, so you can make all the heart eyes. Yes, all the heart eyes. And the eyes, and the eyebrow, and the tears, so you can make sad ones. And this one, you can stick your tongue out. And a mouth. And a mouth. Or a great big bushy eyebrow. A bushy, yes, lots of people have bushy There's eyebrows. There's lots of things we can do with these shapes. We've been having a lot of fun for them. And remember, if you are using cotton and you've pre-fused your fabric, you've, you've ironed that fusible onto the back, that's gonna count as one and a half layers. So you can cut up to four layers of pre-fused cotton at a time. That's right. But it's also great for other materials, right? Right. So you can use craft foam, you could use felt. We have tons of, or craft paper. Yes. All of those kind of things. I'm gonna tell you, um, you wanna cut with just one layer of craft foam and one layer of felt. Yes. Wouldn't you say? Yes. Wouldn't you say? I would. Okay. I would. And it is so fun for working with children on no sew projects. Like Pam mentioned, Oakley's been going crazy with it. Christopher was having so much fun with it. So many so things. It's great for cutting out scraps. I keep my scraps of fused fabric separate in a separate little bag or basket or whatever do I'm well. doing at the time so that I have that. Just grab that to cut some little shapes. Let them just start building things. Yeah. All right, so let's cut a circle out of craft foam, and I think okay. somewhere you have little starry eyes. I do have some little okay, starry eyes. That we cut eyes. out of craft foam. We did. So again, I just, I think craft foam is really fun, and you know, it's just easy to use. You can buy it at any craft store. Right. And it's inexpensive, and it it's is. fun to, <laughs> and it's fun for the kids. It's, <laughs> it's a little sturdier than the felt if kids are gonna be playing it is. with it. And it's not like my good, oh here, look. This is what happens when I do this. Um, I did not get my mat over the edge of the circle because I was too busy we're talking too busy about. Busy talking, but it's okay. I'm going to cut that one little thing right that. there. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Um, so I do Hi. like it because it's, it's inexpensive, and you know you can just make all the fun things out of it. So here's our star eyes. Look at how fun this is, and you can use um, felt for the other pieces. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> All right, we have so many pieces. We have so many pieces. Things to show and you. we have so many ideas. And I know you're not going to want to miss a minute of the inspiration and projects that we've got coming up later. So for today's launch party, we have challenged two of our great experts to make a pattern, including the Go Emoji style, and express a mood or a feeling that they want to portray. I can hardly wait. First up, we have Jeannie Miller. Jeannie was, has been sewing since she was old enough to operate a sewing machine. Look at all of the emojis. Look at them. Uh, it began her lifelong hobbies of sewing, embroidering, and quilting. She's active in several quilting guilds, as well as the chapter chair of the Treasure Coast chapter of the Florida Sewing Sew Society. Uh, Jeannie has been using her ac educating others about AccuQuilt um, at quilt shows and retreats since 2008. Next up, we've got Shannon Patterson. Now, Shannon's been quilting for 25 years, and she brings her manufacturing experience into quilting by coming up with innovative ideas and searching for efficient shortcut techniques to streamline her process. She helps others build skills, master techniques, encourages their creativity, and reminds them to have fun. Shannon enjoys machine piecing, long arm quilting, machine embroidery, English paper piecing, foundation paper piecing, and applique. She an all. does it all. She does it all. All right, I can't wait to see what our experts come up with. But first, let's celebrate this lunch party with a giveaway. That is a grand idea. Our giveaways are one way we like to show appreciation to our viewers who register for each show. In honor of adding our, this die to our permanent collection, we're gonna give away two Go Emojis dies. That means two of our registered viewers today will get the die for free. I love sharing our fun dies with our viewers. I do as well. All right, quilters, our first lucky winner of a Go Emojis die today is, drum roll please. Oh, four symbols. <laughs> Joan T of Palos Heights, Illinois. Congratulations. <laughs> 
Love it when we're mixing it up on a Tuesday yep. Yep. after a holiday weekend even. I need I know. It. All right, quilters, if you're not already, make sure you follow us on all of our social media platforms. Yep, we love to share your stories, your quilts, and more. In fact, did you know that we share our behind-the-scenes videos on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram? Yeah, they're everywhere. They're certainly fun. Don't miss out on those, all of those videos, all of them. All right, speaking of behind-the-scenes, I think it's time to check out our ideas that our experts have come up with. Jeannie, what do you have so far? Hi, ladies. I can't wait to share with you all the emotions that I have while I was working with this wonderful emoji die. The emoji die is being re-released. When it first came out, you can see it right here. It was a special edition die, and I've had it ever since then, and it's one of my favorite dies. I've used it on a lot of different projects. Here's a sample of the flamingo garden flag that I made. And of course you can see that I added those sunglasses from the emoji die. This is a free pattern you can download from AccuQuilt. And then some of the other things that I came up with was of course my banners. I love to have banners to hang for different uh, celebrations. It could be birthday, anniversary, graduation, and emojis are a great way to express those. And then I made some little Chinese lanterns to go along with the banner so that we can put those out for our party decorations. And then since it's a party, of course, we're going to have gifts. So I have my gift bags. It is such an easy way to take a cheap gift bag and add a little pop to it with the different applique dies. And the emojis were very fun to add that little pop. And then I have this little tote bag over here that I already had, so I just added emoji with the two-inch alphabet and then a couple of the emoji faces on it. And then the last thing is this wonderful basket of emojis. And I made these with felt, and they're uh, stuffed, so I just sewed around them, and they each express a different expression on them. I really had a hard time expressing myself with the not so happy emotions because I'm generally a very happy person. So I found it was easier for me to make happy emojis than ones that weren't so happy. And then of course I made my shirt. So it's got a wonderful emoji on it and it's got the word emoji with the uh, three inch alphabet on my shirt. So those are just some of the projects that I made and I hope that you like, like the, oh, excuse me, I'm twisting my words around. I hope that you like them. And I can't wait to share with you my challenge item when we come back. We'll see you then. She's rearranging the emojis. I have so many, so many emojis in Jimmy's house. <laughs> I love it. So I love it. So fun. The shirt mm -hmm. was so fun. The banner behind her. The Chinese lantern. The Chinese cool. lantern, really clever idea. She does a lot of camping, and so she I does. know she likes to decorate. She's out at the campsite. Yep. yep. She just came back from Glacier National Park. I bet she, she has an, a, like a frozen emoji. Oh, I bet she does. <laughs> I <laughs> would if I'd been there. A little later, we're going to ask you guys to vote on your favorite project, so make sure you don't miss their reveal. That's right, nor do you want to miss out on our special offers on our new emojis bundles. That's right. We've got the Go Emojis Eye Mask Bundle, which is great for quilters who also love embroidering their projects. And the Go Emojis Crazy Bundle. It's great with all of those circles for quilters who want to make even more customized emojis. And the Go Emojis Cutter Bundle is what you need to make emoji-filled projects with kids and grandkids. The Go Me is extra light and portable so the younger ones can easily travel home with it and their Go Emoji style. Yes. It's also perfect for crafters looking for an expressive way to create and have fun. Right, and I love it because it's summertime. I feel like so many of our quilters are Go on the go, on take the go. little go me with you. That's right. Plus you can use that code MEMORIAL30 to take up to 38% off selected items in our warehouse sale. Some exclusions apply, check the website for details. And every order over $100 qualifies for free shipping. If you live in the contiguous Yay. US, no code needs to be entered at checkout. Now, while our deals are great today, I wonder what other ideas our experts have come hmm. up with. Shannon, what do you have using the emojis die? Well, ladies, so many wonderful emotions coming from this new die. I couldn't possibly name them all, but I can show you what I did with it. 
So one of the first things that I had to do was turn the sunglasses into reading glasses. So you'll see this little fella here. I really encourage you to think about those shapes that come on the die and convert them into other things. So for example, I trimmed one of the mouths down to make teeth for this flirty fella here. Um, I trimmed down one of the eyebrows to make this little kiss face here. I also went into one of my other cubes and in serendipity, you'll find stars and that's how star struck came to be here. So keep in mind that any die that's out there, you have access to and you can cut it and use it as part of your emoji faces. Now, while I was researching the emoji faces, I did find a website and it was showing me that a few of the emojis have a darkened semicircle around them that gave dimension and depth. So I did that to the, the reading face and to starstruck. And I wanted to show you how I do that. So I take another darker cut circle that I've made, fold it in half and line it up right along the top of the sunglasses and run this through. Now that's gonna give me a half circle that I'm gonna snip to make two half circles and then iron onto my emoji. And I really think it just adds some depth, some dimension to what's happening here with these emojis. So I was looking at reading emoji, really like how studious he looks. And that's one of my pastimes, I love to read. And then I have some other hobbies and I thought, well, let's pull this hobby thing into my next project. So my inspiration is going to turn into something that I think that you'll all appreciate. So stay tuned and I'll have you along to see how far I get with this. Thank you. So clever. So clever. I love the glasses. I, just, I love the glasses. And we know that you're probably as blown away as we were with some of the ideas that Shannon came up with. That's so right. Let's take a look at some of her tricks. That's right. Now Shannon shared with us that she made the reading glasses by cutting out the center of one side of the glasses by hand and then using that side as a guide Yep. I cut the other side out. So yep. that's just So genius. we just took paper and I cut one out uh -huh. and then I just traced it and cut it out. Right. Do not use good sewing scissors. No, no. So. And I used felt, but I was, uh, Pam's turned out better than mine. Yeah, no, so. but I think that's genius. It, it really was. Okay, now I can't wait to try her partial circle trick. That's right. It took us a hot minute to figure it out. It so. did. All right, so there's the die fabric. There's two pieces oh, of look. loose yellow fabric over there. So we've got our our yellow, and then we've got our darker yellow. Which so is we grunge. need, which is grunge, because we love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut two circles. We need a circle of each one. I can do that. You can do that. She can do that. All right, now this is going to fit through all of our cutters, including our Go Me. That's right. Our quilters, um, if you had your Go Big, you could run two dice through in one pass. That's true. You could make a whole lot of emojis that way. So many. Okay. okay. Give it some love. Slide, don't lift. Oh, well, there we go. So here's our lighter it's circle. Like the moon. Well, it does look like the moon, kind of an eclipse. And she got this little look which you could do just by right. doing that right. or here's how she did it she folded it in half and then she lined it up using basically the glasses as her guideline right. okay so they were right there and then she used, then a, she smaller used mat. a smaller mat and then go ahead okay Here's that moment of it truth. It worked in practice. <laughs> this is why we practice. Let's take a look. Oh, and you have to show them those little itty bitty sunglasses. Oh, look. Cut. Okay, wait, before we show you the big reveal. Look, <laughs> it was the, it was, it was, it was sunnies. an accident. It was an accident. Okay, oh, so see, look. So now you've got kind of an oval and all you have to do is snip. So where's our little scissors? I have scissors. Hey, we have these on our website now. We, we do. Have so many. These good are the things. Karen K. Buckley scissors. They are, you don't get better scissors than this. No. They are amazing. Okay. Everybody needs. Every quilter needs every size. Okay. okay. We'll take the glasses off. Take the glasses off. So there is how she did her perfect little. Look at that the little eclipse. Eclipse. And then you could make it starstruck. I yeah. love it. I love the little. Itty bitty. Yeah, what happened was, cultures, when we were trying to do this, um, it's this little bump right here from the heart. So when I was cutting sunnies, See? I had my mat right over there, 
and then it made little tiny sunnies. Little, tiny sunnies. Oh, I wonder how that would go I don't on. No, no, but we have to get back on track. Oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> Because this is what happens. This is what happens. Now, once we started thinking about things to do with all the shapes, this, this right here is what happens. Yes. And I got to thinking about other shapes that needed glasses. Now, that little using the heart bump can make the smaller circle. Yeah, have sunnies. Yeah. Look at how cute that is. Look at how cute. But we saw that Jeannie had put some on her emojis earlier, or her flamingo earlier. Look at the on her. I love it. Do it I like love that. it so much. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so much. All so the much. Things. Okay. And then I thought, well, okay, why not a, a gnome? <gasps> Look, <'cause laughs> there has to be reading gnomes. <laughs> reading gnomes. Fun. Okay, there we go. Or you could do them with the solid sunny. So we could do it with. Oh, we do have solid sunnies. There we go. There we go. But so okay, so a couple of weeks ago Erica made, made a, a gnome at I the I made beach. a beach gnome and a cabana. And, and now he can have sunnies. Now he can have sunnies. There we go. Oh, Perfect. Okay. So how about making bean bags for cornhole? Do you, anywhere yes. else in the country have those besides I Nebraska? don't know. We do. Here in Nebraska we have this game called cornhole. It is sacred. Other games like tic tac toe. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. That'd be great if you were out camping or something. And you know how much I love embellishing towels. I love a good tea yes. towel project. Or she how does. about gift bags? Jeannie yes. had done some gift bags. She needed. What about using it with the Go pennants die? There's another oh, idea. Oh yeah, you could cut the pennants mm -hmm. and then hang all the emojis mm -hmm. on it. Absolutely. What a great idea for like a kid's birthday party. So everybody oh, yeah. could make, have a blank pennant, right? And decorate And, and them. then every kid gets to make oh, an emoji and decorate fun. the pennant. That is a fun party theme. You might be doing that. <laughs> Oakley's birthday is coming up. And you've got a great tip with the craft foam, right? Uh, I, oh, yes, um, I do. <laughs> so if you cut craft you foam. You told me. I thought it was genius. Here, the cool thing about craft foam is you can get it wet. Yes. And it will stick to the side of the tub. I love so that. all of the emoji That's stuff fun. that we cut out, that Oakley cut out, we just put in a little mesh zipper bag. Yeah. And then um, Aries can make a million emoji faces on the tub. That of is so fun. Yeah. All right, we'll stick around because we've got even more ideas and inspiration yet to come. We do. And we'll start to keep on track. Yes. Now, if you want even more Acting Quilt tips and trips, visit Trips and Tips. Tips How and about tricks. tips and inspiration? Oh, visit that our too. blog. We share quilting stories, tips, and exclusive project tutorials that you'll only find there. Tomorrow's post is all about the Go Emoji style. Imagine that. And free downloadable patterns and embroidery designs that come with it. So be sure to subscribe. That way you're going to be notified whenever a new blog post goes live. Now, in order to execute your ideas with the Go Emoji style, you want to make sure that you grab one of our bundles. Yes. they're available today. Absolutely. We've got the Go Emojis Eye Mask Bundle, perfect for quilters looking for a fun new project who also love embroidery and applique. That's right. And the Go Emojis Crazy Bundle is just what you need to make even more personalized emojis because cutting circles by hand is silly. That's right. And the Go Emojis Cutter Bundle is great for quilters who want to have their kids and grandkids join them during the weekends and the summer months and all the time. We were talking about that because school is now out. School is out here. So and we're trying means... to find projects for mm -hmm. small eight-year-olds or yes. the seven-year-olds to make. Yes. And so this is a perfect one because they can just, you know, cut up scrap paper yep. and, and craft foam and make emojis for days. That's right. Quilters, we're offering this month's dye to try, which is the Go Butterfly Peace dye bundle, as well as the Go Bird and Bird House bundles at their special introductory price. The Go Butterfly Peace is going away soon, so be sure to grab it before it's gone. It flies it's away. Flies away. It's been a beautiful dye. It has been. And we also have special introductory pricing on our new quilting ruler bundle, as well as the five inch mix and match cube bundles. So if you missed out on any of these launch parties, now's the time to add all these fantastic rulers and projects, project dies and projects and dies and cubes and setting triangles and all the things to your collection before the offers end. Now, since the Go Emojis die comes with free downloadable embroidery designs, um, it's great to you the idea to use 20% off embroidery designs for other right, projects. right. Like the, the one we just showed you for the flamingo oh, and yes. the um, gnome. But here are the stitches that come that are free, right? So here's our satin stitch, good and tight. 
Yep. There's the little decorative motif stitch. Yep. And then here's our just basic blanket stitch. Yep. But the ones for purchase are 20% off. That's a great deal. Get you some. Get some now. Our friends at Andover Fabric want to help us make this a really expressive and great party. So they provide two lovely selections of fabric for us to give away. Okay. Possibly the most versatile bundles we've ever had to give ever. away. These are all solids. Oh, yes, that makes me happy. Whole rainbow of colors. Look at this. And oh. grays and the darker gray. The shades of gray. And the purples. And then this. Right here, this green, we've been talking about this green purples. for the last year. Mm -hmm. And all of this, this is beautiful. And it our good friends really at Andover. Is. All right, the winner of the first selection of Fabric Bundle is, drum roll please. Carol P. of Belgrade, Montana. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. Carol, you're gonna make such great stuff. Oh, you are, be sure to show it. The winner of the second selection of Fabric is, drum roll please. Elaine H. from Cleveland, Ohio. Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, and a huge shout out to our good friends at Andover Fabrics for making this amazing. And congratulations to all of today's winners. Absolutely. Now, quilters, if you're looking for more inspiration, be sure to join me tomorrow at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live on our Facebook and YouTube platforms. We will be taking an in-depth look at our Go Double Wedding Ring two-die set. I was a little in him intimidated. You no, know, I think a lot of people I, are. I am a rock star now. She is so excited them. about this. Very excited. And we're going to have tons of fun. And the wedding ring die is actually 30% off on, during our memorial mm. sale. So be sure to grab What's it. code. Yep. Hope to see you there. All right. Well, let's reveal today's final projects. I wonder what the experts have come up with. <laughs> I can hardly I, wait. <laughs> Jeannie, what do you have for us? Welcome back, quilters. Well, now you can see why I was twisting my words around in when I was presenting my ideas for the emoji die. It's because I had my mind on my twisty game that I was going to make for my challenge piece. So I used a paint drop cloth, which makes making this very fast. And then I used my circles and the four different colors. And then I used the three inch alphabet to put on the word twisty and emoji on my game board. Then I sewed everything down so it wouldn't come off, even though I'd used applique uh, fusible on it, because it's going to get a lot of wear and tear. But you could also download all the free embroidery designs and use those to embroider all of your shapes down for this game. Now, it was a lot of fun to make this, and I really couldn't wait to try it out, but then I realized I needed a spinner. So I went on the internet and did a little research, and I found that they have all sorts of free spinner uh, out there that you can download. So I downloaded this one, and all you have to do is hit spin, and it tells you which part of your body and what color that you need to put your stuff on next. So it's a great game. It's a quick thing to make for a gift or for your grandchildren or your nieces and nephews or your kids to play with. So I hope you enjoy my challenge item. Thank you. Oh, okay. that is fun. Super fun idea with the twisty game. Clever girl with her twisty Clever. hint there. Clever. Hmm. I think that's so fun. And I like the fact that she used a whole variety of emojis. Yes. Again, I feel like this is a project you could make with your kids or your grandkids. Oh, yeah. Everybody gets to design one. And yes. Yeah. This is super fun. All right, Shannon, what have you made for us? Hello, quilters. This is my project. I call it Go Emoji Quilting Banner. And I think eat, sleep, quilt, and repeat is a pretty good way to spend any day. It's designed large enough to go on the outside of a quilting room door. Or if you're so inclined, use that emoji die to create your own focus block. For example, perhaps you like reading, knitting, camping. The possibilities are pretty much endless. You could make this banner your own. I certainly hope you enjoy it. I certainly enjoyed designing it for you. Oh my goodness, all the hard eyes for all this project. Eyes. That was all the so hard fun. eyes. Okay, now before we talk about that project real quick, um, she used one of our dies that is 
was a limited edition that's dime, right knife and spoon that's right but you could still do eat and you could use like a triangle and then the small circles from the emoji like and make, make pepperoni pizza. pizza or you could use a different one like read so you could mm -hmm. do read sleep quilt repeat and i just do quilt and sleep just quilt, sleep, sleep repeat. I think that's all we need. That's right. Our experts give away such great inspiration. And I don't know how our viewers are going to choose. I don't know either. They are great. But voting is now open. Quilters, let us know which experts project, excuse me, is your favorite. If you're watching by the registration link or on YouTube, you can click the vote box or to the right of the chat box. That's right. And if you're watching via <laughs> Facebook, vote on the box that displays over the video. I think both of them were super fun. They are super fun, very different. All right. All right. Well, we promised you more inspiration, so let's talk embroidery. Now we showed you the free downloadable embroidery with those basic stitches, the blanket stitch, the satin stitch, and the motif stitch. Yep. We even have fun embroidery designs for the Go eye mask pattern. We do. Now if we'll you- We'll show those in just a little yep. bit. If you're doing applique, you want to make sure you iron that fusible to the back yes. of your fabric before you cut it on your die. That's right. And here at AccuQuilt, we offer several great fusibles on our website, so you can be sure to put some in your cart today. You can cut up to four layers of pre-fused fabric at a one time with our dies. When you're ready to press your shapes down, just peel off the back of the paper and iron them down or press them down. Press with them that down. one, what's it called? The little Heel steam fat, yes. Heel and stick. Yes. That's really fun, or fuse and stick, or yeah. you, you press it on to the back of your fabric. When you pull the paper off, it's tacky, yeah. and you can put it down, and it's going to hold there, yep. and then you can press over it, sew over it, and, and it doesn't get all gummy. Irons and it's all great. of that kind of fun stuff. Now, don't forget that if you're using our machine embroidery, you're going to need a stabilizer behind your background fabric, and we've got that on the website for you as well. So many great things. Now, we talked about how I feel personally about cutting yes. circles by hand. So let's talk circles. How about, okay, look at this. Okay, listen, Erica had so much fun. She did all the little step outs here. How about using um, these to make bubbles using our go. Go Sea Life Medley dye? Yes. Or even a polka dot background, which I think is super cute. All right, I made you a surprise. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's. All right, here is a stack of circles. Now, this starts with the Go Big Circle die with the eight inch. Okay and it goes clear to the very small one that is on the serendipity die. Look at how fun Look this is. Look at that, is. isn't that fun? So many great All the sizes, sizes that circles. you can make. This looks like one of those wheels that make you dizzy at the fair. It does, right? it does. Okay. <laughs> now, um, there are, when Shannon used the star shape, it was from the serendipity yes. Gate, right? So mm -hmm. I have that here okay. somewhere. I had it here, hold on. I had it here, you had the die. I did. It's here someplace. It is. We're doing all the things here today. We've got all kinds of things. Keep going to the right. Oh, is it in here? Oh, oh here. Look at them putting things away for us. Gosh. <laughs> there you go. All right, we're going to open the serendipity cube, which is the standalone cube, which is super fun. Yes. Okay. So inside the serendipity cube, there are two dies that we really use with these. This one, which has the star, had a different heart, the little flowers, more circles. For days and then the, the kind of stems and leaves, the flower parts. Yep. So we use these for some other emojis. So we used them to make animals. Um, we used- We use these to make flowers and- Flowers all and all things. kinds of things. So let's take a look at some of them. Okay. Here's one I made I just for you. Back. Oh, look, it's a cat one. It is a cat one like and girl. I used the teardrop to make oh, the ears. There you go. So see if you could make maybe a mouse or you could. a puppy you could. or a bear. I use the heart, a bear. There's the whiskers. Now the whiskers I cut from Serendipity yep, with the, little, the little straight right stems. Cut them in half. There's our whiskers. That really cute. Isn't that I cute? I like this one. All right. All right. So then I made a I thought, what about a flower if we're using those teardrops? So here it is with the small circle for a center, or here it is with the big circle, either way. Right. And then use the stem. Here's the stem. And here's the little leaf. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, isn't this fun? This is great. So we've got some, those stems and leaves, another great use from it. 
So yep. that's really fun. Now we thought about a hat. Here's right. one with a hat. Oh, here, this we'll is, grab it. Let's grab it. This is from the Halloween medley dye. Yes, yes it is. It was made at our house. <laughs> we used the Go Ribbon Twist here and yep. created some hair on this. Oh, he took his eyes. His Why eyes are eyes gone, go? but that's okay. So this is kind of fun. Yep, so you could just have hair there or you could use it to make a hat. I stole him for Pearl, I think. Oh, there you go. We gave him an extra swoop. There you go. So that is super fun. That was super fun. Okay. Then we had, oh, let's see. oh, tombstone. This was the first thing Pam said when first she thing. saw the tongue. First thing. Was, or a tombstone. A tombstone for Halloween. There you go. <laughs> now, one of my favorite all time, oh, here's the little devil. We have to. Oh, this is for Katie. This is for Katie. Katie and our team. She's like, you know, there are other emojis that are not yellow. So we made, we made that one. A little devil. A little devil for her. Isn't that then cute? we had my favorite emoji. Oh, this is the best. Is the silent scream. Which is how we spend, Which so, is how much we spend so much of our day. Yeah. Or if you're ready for a nap. Every day. Every day. You could do your little sleeping emoji. Put them up here. Put them up here. So we get a good shot. Your little eyes closed and use the classic alphabet to cut out some Z's. Look at how fun that is. And there we go. Okay, for days we could talk about this. So many things that you yeah. can do. And this is the circle, the bigger circle. And I folded it in half and cut it again on the, moved it over the circle and cut it again to make it more of a football or an oval. There you go. There you go. All right. We just keep coming days. up with more. We've seen some amazing ideas using the Go Emoji Style, but let's see even more. That's right. Let's take a look at some fun projects that you can make using the Go Emoji Style. We're going to start with those Go Eye Mask dies we talked about. Oh, these are made by Christina Brinkerhoff. Thank you, Christina. Of Center Street Quilts. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay. They're so cute. This is really fun. So there's the circles and the eyebrows. And then this is actually the mouth, right? That's the With mouth the and eyebrows. then the eyebrows for little eyelashes. Right. And then all the hard eyes. All the hard eyes. That's right. These are super fun. Now, another really adorable project that I was having so much fun Erica with. Erica was really having a great too much fun yes. with. This War. is by Carolina Moore of Always Expect More. This is the emoji clutch and yes. child's purse. I love this because it's <laughs> just so fun. You no, know, you can fit what you need in there. Just hang it off yeah. your wrist. Yeah. Matching and is fun. Yes. Matching is fun. Hard eyes. See, look. Matching is fun. I like that. I like It'd that. It'd be great for a trade show. It really would. <laughs> it really would. <laughs> There All we right, go. next we have this really fun um, travel journal by Kelly Marshall. This is so cute. Simply Macbeth Design. This was such a clever idea. She used the cl classic alphabet again, the two-inch classic alphabet, to personalize it. Here's our tombstone tongue. Yep. And straight binding. Straight so binding. For me. But when you open it up, it's got space for your notebook. It's got little hole, little slots here for your pens and pencils, your One ruler. Isn't that cute? This is really darling. It's really and fun. And it's great because, you know, then you can, it's really easy to take with you. Yeah. I love it. Really fun. Okay. Now we also have our Go Checkered. Uh, wait. Nope. Nope. There we go. Here we go. The Go Checkered Emojis Throw Quilt. Ah, here we go. This one's by Bea Lee, a Bea Quilter. She used the 8-inch cube for this. So here's the big square shape number one from our 8-inch cube. And for the border, she's done the small square. Isn't that clever? It makes the Very cutest fun. checkerboard look. It does. And, and all the different emojis. And you could use any ones that you wanted to. Right. So the, that's a five and a half inch square. So think of it, or five and a half inch circle. So think of any square that's six inches or bigger. Mm -hmm. So like the 12 inch cube you could use. Mm -hmm. And use all the other parts and pieces mm -hmm. to it. I think it's really cute. It's just super fun. Okay. All right, next up, now we can show you this pillow. This is the Go Sunshine Emojis pillow. It's by Christina Brinkerhoff of Center Street Quilts. I love it. She's got the sunnies on the sun, and she's highlighted it with a little bit of hand quilting. I think that's really Yeah, fun. right here. I don't know if Justin can get a really good shot here, but either. right here. Can you see right there? Look at that. 
good job. Look at that. So Man, it's that a little is bit so of oh, so close. Bit of gold. Job, Look at Justin. that. Whoa. That is really fun. I thought that was the best part of it. I do too. And then on the back of it, it's just a, just an envelope opening so yeah. you can change it out for the seasons. She designs some adorable pillows, yeah. Christina does. Okay, here we've got the Go Celebrate Emojis Wall Hanging. This is by Gina Jempasaw of Gem Hill Quilts. This is just fun. So she used our eight inch cube for the half square triangles mm -hmm. and then our 12 inch cube for that six inch center. Right. Right. And then the one and a half inch strip dies yes. um, to break it all up. But a fun little wall hanging. It'd be really fun for birthday parties. You could do it in colors. Mm -hmm. I think it's just darling. Well, and this fun little wavy stitch. Now, a lot of sewing machines will have this little wavy stitch as oh, yes. one of their decorative stitches. So if you are quilting little wall hangings or projects by hand on your sewing machine, check out. Don't forget to check out your stitches that you've got available. All right. All right, then behind, let's see. Oh, are we yes, here? behind us. It's okay. the Go Face to Face Wall Hanging by Amanda. My head's in the clouds. Your head's in the, <laughs> always. Always. <laughs> this is by Amanda Harward of Larksburg Quilts. She's used Moda Fabrics for this. It is adorable. It's darling. And Amanda did great because she just did like all of her quilting on it. She did do stitching on the faces using our applique mm -hmm. um, files, but then she used her two inch cube or her eight inch cube to make a six inch block. We learned about that just last week. Yes. Yes. This was us over the weekend. It was so hot and humid. It Maybe really even. was. And then suddenly it wasn't. And then suddenly it was cold. Suddenly the breezes came. And by breezes, we mean gale force winds. Yes. 60 mile an hour winds. <laughs> If you would prefer a different colorway in any of our projects, you can go to Go Quilt. It's our free design tool on our website. You can take a photo of your fabric and upload them into Go Quilt to see what your project will look like before you make your first cut. And I used it just this morning for an upcoming AQ Live. Well, there you, you go. You can also use numerous fabric collections from our sponsors available on Go Quilt, as well as solids that we gave away yes. today plus thousands of quilt patterns for you to envision your next projects. It's so fun. It really is. Do you not use it all the time? All the time. All the time. All right, at the start of 2022, we introduced our Paint It Forward campaign called Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from each of our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice that's Eric right. and I will be giving, or we're doing the last two we're of the year. We're doing the last two of the year. Now, last week's donation was made by Moda team member Tammy Wait till you Vonderschmidt see. of Needle in the Haystack. She designed her quilt using Moda's Cake Mix number no. one pattern, and she used Sherry and Chelsea's The Front Porch Fabric Collection to make it. Isn't this adorable? So fun. It is just so bright and fun. Now, Tammy donated her quilt to a charity supporting people like her who have cystic fibrosis. Now, that's a disease that affects the lungs and the digestive system. It was a wonderful and meaningful donation. It meant so much to her, and we were just so thrilled to learn about yeah. it. We have a show coming up about all of the quilts that have been donated. You're not going to want to miss it. Some fabulous, yes. fabulous quilts. And all the half square triangles. All the half square triangles. Oh, yeah. So pretty. All right. Be sure to visit our website for details on how you, our viewers, can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time. Go to learn.acuquilt.com slash quilt the world 2022. You can also follow hashtag quilt the world 2022 on social media to see your fellow quilters donations throughout the year. Now, along with this great campaign, we also have fantastic bundles for you, our viewers. That's right. All right, quilters. We have got the go. Oh, what's this one called? You. Well, you don't want to miss a minute of it. So get the, whoop, whoop. Get your order in. Get your order in. <laughs> sure, fun. Sorry, I, the screen you flickered and I, I, I QR whoa. QR code here and go right to the bundles. <laughs> On the go emojis die. So if you don't have a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundles, place your order. That way you won't miss a minute of the show and it doesn't matter if the screen flickers and I go nuts.
There we go. This is, <laughs> oh, we have the Go Emojis Eye Mask Bundle, which includes the Go Emojis die, the Eye Mask die, a 6x12 cutting mat, and Emojis embroidery designs. There's my silence. This bundle please. is valued at $167. Get it today for $99 and some change, saving you over $66. I'm back on track. And there's also the Go Emojis Crazy Bundle, which includes the Go Emojis die and three circle dies, plus a 6x12 cutting mat. This $265 value can be yours for just $199.99. It's going to save you over $64. And the Go Emojis Cutter Bundle comes with the Go Emojis die and the Go Me Fabric Cutter Starter Set. This bundle is valued at $220, available today for $169.99, saving you over $49 in savings. Now, you can also take advantage of our Memorial Day sale quilters, dies, cubes and bundles are 30% off with the code MEMORIAL30. Remember, our introductory bundles are already discounted as much as they can be. And there's no code needed for free shipping if you free live shipping. in the contiguous U.S. and your order is over $100 or more. Now, to see all of our current promotions, go to AccuQuilt.com party. You'll pull them all up. And don't forget, we've got that financing option. For more details, go to AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, quilters, we're about to announce today's expert winner, but first we're going to give away our final prize of the day. This is by far my favorite. All the hard eyes. The, All the hard this eyes. This is my favorite. Yes, it really is. Our second lucky winner of a Go Emoji Style is, drum roll please, Sandra F. from Calvaway, Florida. Congratulations, Congratulations. Sandra. How can we have a drum roll now instead of symbols? I don't know. Okay. Maybe the drummer was out for a break and <laughs> just left the cymbal player here. What do you call here? a percussionist, right? That plays cymbal. Yes. All right, cool juice, the time has come. Our team has counted all of your votes and it's time to announce today's expert winner. That's right. Is it going to be Jeannie with her Go Emoji twisty game? Or will it be Shannon with her Go Emojis quilting banner, which was darling? It was. You voted and decided that the winner is... We're waiting for it. It's Shannon. Congratulations. Congratulations Shannon. Okay, we want to see what our viewers make. Yes, we want to see. We want to see the four things or the three things three or that four you things. do and repeat. Or is it just going to be quilt, 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 repeat? There you go. All right, it's time for us to wrap up our launch party. We hope that you are as excited about the creative possibilities with our Go Emojis die as we are. That's right. And thank you so much for joining us today. All right, now be sure to join us again on Tuesday, June 7th at 12 noon Central Time as we launch our newest die to try. It's called Wild and Free, which I think is like Aries in the summertime. This is <laughs> wild and free in the backyard. This event will showcase the June die to try and is sure to be a blast. That's right, and I will be missing that one. I'm gonna, yeah, she's going to be on a I'm plane. Gonna she's going to be doing that. And Miss Emily will be here in my, she will in be my here. place to help you. Plus, we've got even more secrets. Shh. We can't share them with you right now, so you just have to keep checking our event page. That way you can register for all of them and be entered to win door prizes. All right, now if you're new here and thinking about getting a fabric cutter and you're not sure quite which one you need, yeah. be sure to stay after the show to learn more about which cutter might be the right one for you. That's right. All right, Erica, our quilters, Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you'll stop by next week for our wild and free die to try launch party. If you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is that time and here is the link. We want to make sure you get your goodies before they're gone. And remember at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. Goodbye. Bye-bye.